we have the question where first half of distance is covered with speed 12 meter per second and another half of distance in two equal time intervals with speed of 18 meter per second and 30 meter per second and we are asked to find average speed of particle so firstly we should draw the graph to avoid the confusion so it's the graph looks this way and here in it moved with 12 meter per second and here we need to do two parts of this so firstly we will consider that we will mark it as P Q R and S these are the points okay so we will consider that the time taken to reach from P to Q is T1 here T1 and we will consider that time from Q to S is T2 so this QR would be T2 by 2 and this one 2 would be T2 by 2 okay and the distance QR is unknown and RS2 is unknown but we know the speed bit f between Q to R it is given as 18 18 and this R to S is given by 30 here you might have doubt that here time is divided into equal intervals so the here I have drawn this lines a little bit back it is not the perfect line but this one is the perfect represent this one is somewhat near about accurate representation of the above graph because the time if speed is 18 you can compare it that the total time t2 would be 6 seconds so here in 3 seconds it will move 54 and here in 3 seconds it will move 90 so you think which one would move more distance in same time this or this so I drawn this one a bit bigger compared to this one and after that we have to find the average speed so we know that speed average is total distance upon total time right so here firstly we need to find distance covered in t1 time we need to express t1 in terms of distance and speed so we know that time is distance upon speed and we are writing it for t1 here distance is d by 2 so here d by 2 is distance covered by t1 and speed of t1 is 12 so into 12 so this is d by 24 second so t1 is d by 24 i will mark it as 1 now we need to go further we need to find the time t2 so we know that total distance here is d by 2 that's covered so we know that here d by 2 is can be represented as qr plus rs which is equal to so now what is qr so we know we have to use here s equal to ut plus half at square so to find qr we need to use ut plus half at square and acceleration is zero so it would be just ut so what is initial velocity here 18 so 18 into time and we have considered time as t2 by 2 so t2 by 2 plus rs what is initial velocity 30 so 30 into t2 by 2 you understood i think acceleration is 0 so ut plus half at square would be just ut 
so now you have we have d by 2 equal 92 plus 15 t2 92 plus 15 t2 is simply 24 t2 so i will write it here 24 t2 comma t2 would be equal to d by 48 just cross multiply 24 downside now this is our second statement now that's what we have already got the answer just put it in speed average we know average speed is total distance upon total time we have considered total distance to be d so this the speed average would be equal to total distance upon total time so d upon what is total time t1 plus t2 so this is d by what is t1 from first equation it's d by 24 so d by 24 plus from second equation it's t2 is d by 48 so d by 48 so this one would be now you can cancel d here if you remove d common from here then it would be outside and d by d would be 1 so this is 1 by 1 by 24 plus 1 by 48 so you can see that lcm if LCM of this both is 48 only so we should multiply 24 by 2 by 2 so we would get our answer so this one would be equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 48 and 48 will come up so 48 by 3 so this is 16 meter per second so we got our final answer so average speed is 16 meter per second that's our first option